The Sigma Check comes with a comprehensive PC package uh, called Sigma Check PC. Here you can see Sigma Check PC running on a laptop. I have my Sigma Check connected via USB. On the screen, you can see the ID at the top there of the connected instrument, our company name, and the fact that you're connected to a Sigma Check. Here we have a uh, conductivity value, a lift off value, and finally a temperature. Now, this is real time data being streamed from the Sigma Check. If I now place my probe on a, a copper sample, you can see it's reporting the live IAX value, the lift off, and the temperature. Now, this data is always displayed at its maximum precision and unfiltered, unlike the data on the Sigma Check. This allows any data to be post processed if it is stored. I'll quickly go around another couple of blocks, you can see it updates uh, very quickly indeed. We'll come back to storing that data in a moment. So below the main screen, you can see a keypad identical to that of the Sigma Check. Now these buttons, when clicked, behave exactly as if the actual button on the Sigma Check was pressed, allowing complete remote control of any Sigma Check. And moving to the bottom, we have three buttons. Now retrieve data is covered under data logging. The next button, micro SD card. Now the Sigma Check contains internal to itself a micro SD card. This stores all the settings, probe settings, uh, and data logged data. So I click on this micro SD card button. Here we have the content of the card inside the Sigma Check. So again, if I expand the file system tab and open a Sigma Check folder, we have a settings, a data log, and a probes folder. Within the probes folder, you can see files for any probes that are configured for this instrument. The settings file contains the settings required by the instrument, so uh, not really to be modified. And finally, the data log folder. Now, during data logging, uh, there is an option to store to RAM or to micro SD card. Any files that are saved to the card are saved in this directory here. So this is the process of extracting the data. If I click on the file name, the buttons at the bottom here now become highlighted. So I can click on Get File. So do that. Have a progress bar across the Sigma Check. Once it has uploaded the file, Ooh, I think I must have clicked that twice. There we go. I can select the location for that file. I shall just save it on the desktop. I shall click Save. Okay, I've done this before, so I shall simply overwrite the existing file. Okay. Now, by opening spreadsheet package, open. desktop where I saved it, you can see the file that I uploaded from the Sigma Check. The format of this file is uh, the date that the file was saved, so 2013, 15th of March at 10 o'clock. Open the file, and here we have some previously data logged data. Close that. If the file has been uploaded and is no longer required, I can click on the file and click delete to remove it from the Sigma Check. There we go, the file has gone. So that explains how to use the file system of the Sigma Check. The final button is PC Logging. This gives us the ability to log data seen by the Sigma Check over a long period of time. So again, roughly explaining uh, the buttons on here. It can be outputted to a CSV file stored on the laptop or an XML file. The XML file can be then be read by any spreadsheet package. I can then choose the data that I require to log from the Sigma Check. So for this example, we should log the time, temperature, the conductivity, and the lift off. Now I should browse to a location to save the file. Okay, the desktop is highlighted. 
Now I can enter a file name or I can just click default and it will create me one based on the current time and date. So that's what we're going to log and where we're going to log it. Now we can specify a particular number of samples to log and then stop or we can select log until stop. So this will be until I click the stop button. We then have two other values here. How often we log a point to the file and how often we read a point. Now if I leave read at point 0.1 seconds but log every second then there'll be 10 readings for every one logged so that will be uh, that an average of 10 points will be stored. So a basic form of filtering. So I shall click start. Now on this display each time a data point is logged the values are displayed in real time here. So again, as I specified, we're logging time, conductivity, temperature, and liftoff uh, uh, once a second. If I now go around some conductivity blocks, you see I'm holding on a copper of uh, approximately 100% IX. Yeah, so if I slowly lift the probe away, see the liftoff value increasing. I'll go around with a few blocks to get some different values. So once I've finished, I simply click stop. So now if I again open my spreadsheet package and go to my open desktop, this is the file created just a minute ago. So again, for the four items I was logging, we have time, temperature, conductivity, and liftoff. And as you can see, we have logged data. So I shall close that. Again, this functionality is perfectly acceptable to be left running overnight or even for days. And that concludes data logging. Sorry, PC logging on the Sigma check.